Hello, and thank you for joining us in the second episode of Ask the Gov. Our first question is from Sandy Madden on Facebook. She asks, I know the state has no money, so we are told, but the highways in our state are a disgrace, an embarrassment to tourists. What are your plans? I have appointed a task force of citizens from throughout the state. It will be co-chaired by Nancy Richardson, who has just retired as the director of the Iowa DOT, and Alan Tomes. And this group of citizens will look at the transportation needs for the state, the cities, and counties, and make recommendations by the end of this year. They will hold public hearings and give input from citizens on how we can meet the transportation needs. And we're going to be looking at user fees to be paid by the people who use the highways, whether they're residents of Iowa or not. And also, we want to make sure that we're doing it on a pay-as-you-go basis. Our next question was emailed by Ray from Bettendorf, who asks, Why won't you push hard for a film industry tax credit to bring the film industry to Iowa? Well, of course, we had a film industry tax credit, which was a disaster. It was mismanaged, and it's costing the state of Iowa a significant amount of, of, of money because of its mismanagement and its the fact that it was going to people not from Iowa who didn't owe taxes in our state. That is not the way to go. I would like to see us reestablish a film office under the Department of Cultural Affairs and bring back Wendell Jarvis who did a great job for that when I was governor before. Wendell uh, helped us bring um, Field of Dreams, Bridges of Madison County, Miles from Home and many other films to our state. It was very successful and we did it without a tax credit. So I think if we have the right people and the right program, we can have some success in filmmaking in the state of Iowa and not have the drain on the taxpayers that we had with, the, um, with frankly, the mis, uh, misguided uh, tax credit that we had under the previous administration. Our final question is from Sherry in Atlantic, who emails, how can we expect the legislature to approve a two-year budget when no one knows the amount of revenue that will be coming into the state coffers. We have a group called the Revenue Estimating Conference. They meet quarterly and they make an estimate in terms of revenue. And that is something that the governor and legislature must rely on. I believe it makes sense for us to put together a long-range strategic plan for the state. And we've done that, submitting a five-year strategic budget plan and a biennial budget. Uh, by having the long-range planning, we can avoid some of the mismanagement that's occurred in the past and the use of one-time money for ongoing expenses. It, when this legislature convened, we had a big hole to dig out of. 89 programs had been funded with one-time money. Uh, we're stopping that bad practice and restoring honest, open, transparent budgeting and long-range planning. In, in order to ensure stability and predictability in the short run and sustainability in the long run. 